This is the story of the self-confessed Boston Strangler, based on Gerald Frank's startling bestseller. It has been filmed where the actual happenings made shocking headlines around the world. I want you to coordinate the investigations for the Commonwealth. Set up a Strangler Bureau. I'm not even remotely qualified for this kind of thing. You want the stranglings to go on? That's not fair. Preview audiences have acclaimed this a remarkable motion picture. Academy Award stature. For the indelible quality of this film is that the tension, the suspense, the emotion mount when the camera goes beyond the panic-stricken streets of Boston. Beyond the dark corridors of the apartment houses where the strangler silently prowled. Beyond the bedrooms of lonely, fearful women. Into the forbidden corners of a man's mind and soul. Why did 13 women open their doors willingly to this stranger? The Boston Strangler stars Tony Curtis in a powerful characterization unlike anything he has ever portrayed on the screen. Henry Fonda and George Kennedy. These things you see that come into your head and you don't have anything to do about it, now is the time for you to try to make some sense out of them. Face it, what did you see? Woman's breasts. Whose? I don't know. Her blouse came off in my hand. Albert, now. Now was the time. Go back. The suspects range from derelicts to Back Bay, Boston. How many names have you got in here? 500. How many have you scored with? Well, at least, um, two-thirds. In six months? Uh-huh. You could have killed any one of them. We'll check you out. Check him out, hell. Find out what kind of diet he's on and have it mimeographed for the rest of us. suspense builds to an incredible crescendo, you realize that you are involved in one of the most remarkable screen experiences of our time. You will know all there is to know about the Boston Strangler. Why did so many women open their doors willingly? The answers are not what you expected.